What's going on lads? What's the crack? And welcome back to the channel. It's Friday and we are back with some more player reviews and training guides. So a lot of people have been asking me for the club icons for the season three nominating contract uh, pack, right? So this club icons are going to be lasting for about 30 days and then it'll be recycled with something different. But there are one or two really, really strong players in here that might slip under the radar. If you are a newcomer, any of these players that you get are probably going to be worth it to buy, especially if you've got nominating contracts. You can get a free nominating contract for playing 15 games across every game mode, right? Whether it's co-op, whether it's divisions, whether it's league, whether it's my league, it doesn't make a difference, right? So we have Kevin De Bruyne, we have De La Cruz, we have Dunk from Brighton, we have El Shorari, we have Smith, Muriel, Lopez, and Jimenez, right? So this is actually a pretty... Pretty okay selection if you are looking for strengthening your squad. Can these players compete with the likes of the new Legends and the new Boosters and the new Epics and the new Blitz Curlers? No, I mean, they can't. Like, I'm not going to lie to you and say that these guys are going to be absolutely meta. But what you'll see here is with the training guys that we give here is they're more than usable. And I would say that the Bruyne de la Cruz and Jimenez are going to be my top picks. And I'm going to show you why in just a second, right? So let's just get rid of the players that I wouldn't recommend. Now, as a four-star, Smith isn't too bad. Usually, you're left with a lot of four-star four contracts, right? You can check your contracts if you go out to this screen here. And from this menu uh, here, you would press triangle or Y on the Xbox and you will be or PC, and you'll be able to see your, your contracts, right? So I have got two contracts for level four, and I've got one for level three. So I don't actually have my contract, uh, my five-star unlocked yet. Um, so I'll need to play, I think, two more games on this, which I'll be doing later on in stream, and I'll probably buy Jimenez or De Bruyne, right? So I'm going to start with Smith. You're usually left with four-star uh, contracts. So if you have one expiring, I mean, he's not a bad option, but he doesn't really have that many player skills. Uh, as an attack and fullback, yes, he has got a unique skill with player, uh, a fighting spirit and blocker as his player skill. But he has long-range curler, dip and shot, and gamesmanship. He does have early crosser as his play style, but he's got no passing skills. He's got no dribbling skills. And to be honest with you, lads, I mean, I even though you are usually left, it, unless you have a four-star that's going to be expiring soon, right? And it's going to go to waste. Then you can get him and you can just release him for GP or whatever. I mean, I would just hold steady on the four stars because I do think that they will expand denominating contracts or even in one of the other selections, which I'll do an extra video on for the Brazilian or the J-League picks. Uh, I don't think that this guy is really worth spinning for. He doesn't really excel in any area. But then again, it's a four star free player. What are you really expecting? We also have Muriel here as well. I'm not going to spend too long on this guy. He's just your average center forward. I mean, he's got inconsistent form. He has some fairly nice player skills super sub acrobatic finishing and flip flap and double touch are nice on this card as well as long range shooting and chip shot control he is down as a goal poacher but again i mean as a as a four star i would probably sign this guy but as a five star no he doesn't cut the mustard lads unfortunately and i'll get straight to the to the point with these cards i mean unless you are literally you know have downloaded the game in the last day or two you can pretty much buy a better player than him for like 50,000 GP on the market. I've got videos on it, right? We also have Dunk, okay? So this guy is pretty decent. We're actually going to show you a training guide of this guy uh, because he's a pretty decent player if you do have two five stars and you're looking for, you know, defensive um, options at the back and you already have Jimenez because I do recommend Jimenez, right? Definitely 100%. But this guy is actually quite a fairly decent player, right? And I'm going to show you why in a second, right? So this is his training guide here. If you've missed my other videos on the roundup of V3.2 news or the V3.2 co-op, you can check those out. They are on my channel as well. But this is what we've gone for, right? So we've got 11 into defending. We've got four into dexterity, eight into lower body. And of course, we've also got seven into aerial strength. With the manager boost that they've now fixed, you will be getting that plus two boost with your managers to all stats. So his defensive stats don't stay like that in game. That defensive awareness is going to become 90. His tackling is going to be 92. Oh, excuse me, aggression is going to be 93, and defensive engagement, 90. I nearly choked there, lads, I don't know what happened. Speed is going to be 75 or 76 if you have 10 hag, of course, and then his physical contact is going to be into the 90s as well. He's also quite tall, he's got some fairly decent uh, blocker uh, area superiority, man marking and heading player skills, and fighting spirit. He doesn't have interception, which is a bit of a pity. But listen, he's a big unit, lads. He's not hes not the worst car that you could get. He doesn't compare to Jimenez here, who we have, who's one of our top picks, right? So Jimenez is definitely one of the top players in this and one of the best players that they have released. He plays way above his stats. I actually did a video where I recommended him, um, you know, to sign the GP version of him 
if you did not get Puyol back into boosters, right? Look at the stats that he has, man. He's got everything that you could possibly want straight off the rip. His speed and acceleration, I'm going to show you a little bit of a, a talking point with this one. Um, he's got every player skill that you could possibly want. He's got unwavering form. Yes, he's got D rating, but that's only a temporary thing. I would not worry about that whatsoever, right? And this is the build that we've gone with for him. Definitely think he's a beast. Now, there's two options that you can have with Jimenez, right? If you uh, want to have him kind of like the auto allocate and get him to that highest visual rating, then you can go with the auto allocate option, uh, of course. But that's going to put one or two more into defending and it's not going to have his speed or acceleration, right? But because Jimenez is an actual destroyer, right? I want him to be very mobile and versatile at the back. That's just a personal um, opinion from me. I would definitely try this build. So you're talking 7, 4, 8, 10 from left down there on the way from dexterity to defending. Uh, dexterity at 7 is going to give you, with the manager boost, 75 acceleration. Uh, then you're also going to have 75 speed. You're going to have 90 physical contact. And then all his defensive stats are going to be 93, 93, 95, and 94, right? As I said, you can go the other route if you want to take away one of these here. You can take the two away there and you can pop one more in, right? You'll still have one left over that you can pop in to jump or whatever if you want to go with that. But I definitely recommend go the other route. I think that that's the best way of going with him. And I think it levels up this card extremely well. And he's so mobile. If you're not used to playing with kind of like mobile, versatile center backs at the moment, that's where I think the game is gone, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, right? So that's Aminas. That's one of my top picks. El Shirari, I don't really recommend him unless you are looking for something as a four star um, or uh, he would have been decent. But I don't really recommend this guy, even though he's got some player skills. I mean, super sub, outside curler, long range curler and shooting with soul control, double touch. Yeah, he's very, very silky on the ball. Um, but I don't, I just feel like there's so many wingers you can buy for cheap. Of course, if you have a lot of five stars, he's easy to recommend and his stats aren't too bad. I mean, let's be honest, his stats are quite decent, right? You've got loads of really nice stats there. With the manager boost, you're going to have dribbling at 91. You're going to have acceleration at 90. It's a decent card. If you don't finish a lot with him, if you don't shoot a lot, um, you can take away that shooting and put it into something else. But he's got 78 finishing, which is going to be 8 and shoot, 80 shooting, which is pretty decent. I do like this card, but I don't really recommend him um, strictly because he's a 5-star. If he was a 4-star, yes, right? We also have our goalkeeper. Not going to spend too much time on him. I don't recommend that goalkeeper at all. He does have a low punt, but he doesn't have long throw. He's got standard form. And of course, he doesn't have those high stats that you need for a goalie. So I'm not going to even waste time on that. So the last two guys, lads. De La Cruz has surprised me. So he's another one that I recommend wholeheartedly. I think he's an absolute beast. Brilliant, brilliant stats. Brilliant, brilliant player skills. He doesn't have unwavering form. But look at his acceleration. And look at all those stats that equate to this when you actually level him up. So we're going to have 90 dribbling. We're going to have 90 acceleration. If you want to take that down a little fraction, you can. And you can throw it into something else. Because you will be getting a manager boost now. And it will be accurate. Um, and the same can be said about the dribbling. If you want to leave that tight possession at 90. Don't worry too much about ball control at the moment. Dribbling and tight possession seem to be the new meta stats for dribblers, right? This guy is going to be playing as an attacking midfielder type box to box while still having that bit of aggression that you want uh, to win the ball back, such as, you know, the likes of Gavi or somebody like that, that are able to get in the opponent's face when you're putting them on the press, right? And even at that, you can still get 75 shooting there, or even if you don't shoot, you can boost up his dexterity, you know, fairly big and give him a little bit more defending for the aggression. Aggression is a key stat if you're looking for something a little bit different, right? But this guy is all about his player skills and his balanced play style, right? So he has hair in his player card, but he's bald in this one. So I'm not too sure what happened. He seems to have a bit of collar right what's going on about him there um but hopefully hopefully collar can get that sorted for him but anyway last but not least lads we have kevin de bruyne so de bruyne is kind of in a i would say a no-go area right now i do recommend him because he's just such a unique player um and i've kind of slept on him for quite a while but i have played with him on my xbox profile um that i don't stream off of and he is really fun to just spray the ball around you don't need to think too much about what you're doing when you're training him up unwavering form low lofted pass weighted pass true pass and one touch pass long range shooting soul control and of course that all-important captaincy which is going to be nice on this card to give him that little bit of vump or vump oomph Vumph, oomph. Uh, so I do like Kevin De Bruyne, lads. I do really like him. This is the player build that we've gone for here. Uh, so we've got 21 levels. Obviously, this is going to be a card that you need to put a little bit of, 
yeah, you need to understand that you're not going to have it all with him, right? So once we've got this base here, right, we're going to make a decision on what type of card we want him as. Do we want him as a shooting attacking midfielder or do we want him kind of like as an all-rounder attacking midfielder, right? Because these stats here straight off the rip, we actually have, you know, 88 ball control, 88 low pass and lofted. That's going to be 90 with the manager boost, right? So we've already kind of sorted that out. Now we could go if we wanted to 82 finish him with that and still have a little bit of room left over. Or if you wanted to, because the passing has gone a little bit chaotic, we could go 95 with the manager boost with 93 each and get the plus two manager boost. Or else if you wanted to, you could go that little bit extra uh, with the dexterity and one into finishing that'll get you 76 finishing. There's lots of ways of training this card. I would say that the Bryna is only recommended by me if you do shoot a good bit. If you keep your opponent honest with long range shots or anything like that, then he is going to be a godly card for you and definitely one that you can get for free if you've got two nominating contracts. I would say that these are the two guys that I would recommend right here. So there's my two recommendations and then Jimenez is the pick of the pack. So yeah, that's pretty much it for me, lads. I will talk to you guys in a bit. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will talk to you later in the live stream. Peace.